Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your reading. We're going to be exploring some new energies and kind of seeing what the Divine Masculine is not telling us. So, gentlemen, I will be outing you. <laughs> so I hope the Divine Feminines are going to find the messages they want. Of course, no judgment. Whatever the dynamic of your relationship is, I hope you find some messages here today. We're going to explore the different um, oracle cards that are going to help give us some clarity on how your Divine Masculine is feeling. And I'll be exploring it with the Crystal Vision Tarot to see what we can bring for clarity. And light of the super moon and also happy birthday my beautiful Libras it is your season while I'm doing this reading so of course if you want to tag your birthday see and find your birthday twin we've had so much fun doing it for every other sign it's your turn <laughs> so again this is the divine masculine messages let's see what's coming through Libra what does your divine masculine want you to know of course energies are interchangeable these can also speak to these can also speak to like, you know, even divine feminine, you could have very strong masculine energy, whatever the dominant energy is here, but this is for the masculine messages. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to take those because I feel like they just want to keep flying off my table. <sighs> Let's go. So I don't know where you are and what you are doing and it drives me insane, Libra. Your person could be wanting to know what you're up to and they don't know. Of course, maybe there's obviously no communication or they're not able to see what you're doing, but uh, <laughs> you know, this element of curiosity, what are you up to? I enjoyed spending time with you. This person really does enjoy the time you've had together and of course, maybe now that you're not spending time together, you know, could be an energy of that. You've changed my perception of what is important in my life so that is very powerful this divine masculine has had such quite a shift here with you or because of you um, in terms of how they appreciate their life I find you very attractive the Libras they definitely find you very sexy uh, very attractive like it says you bring out the romantic in me I want to buy you flowers and sweets and jewelry oh my Libras are you getting spoiled I feel like this divine masculine definitely you stand out above the rest I feel like they've not really I don't know the time that they've spent with you has really changed them Libra let's see what else is coming through these are the unspoken messages right because we're not confused enough let's get a little bit more clarity what else can we tell my beautiful Libras of their divine masculine how their divine masculine feels towards them or what messages are coming in for you here Oh, and guys, if you didn't know, I uh, I launched my memberships too. So for $4.99, you can do it here through YouTube. You get access to all the extended for the weekly readings. It's really exciting, lots of fun. So definitely check out the membership section and uh, we'll be able to provide more goodies there. Um, we're going to see if get a few more cards here. I want to also get to, and oh, oh, Divine Masculine's got a lot to say. Lots to say. I like that. At least they're talking, right? first one was after effing it up I don't feel worthy so the divine masculine in this connection is feeling like they screwed up big time and they don't really know how to fix this and I feel like that's also why they don't know what's going on because you could have possibly kicked them out of your life and that's sort of happening here I got myself in some effed up situations and now it's hard for me to make things better so what is going on Libra it's your ma masculine energy here excuse me is really really dealing with some major things i feel like uh, a lot of stuff that they got into a lot of f up situations uh we'll find out your stability was a threat to me and that triggered my insecurities so because they're in those effed up situations and you're not you know again that feeling unworthy energy they don't feel worthy of you or they don't know how to come towards you you changed my perception of what's important in my life and i feel like that's what triggered a lot of these insecurities was all their instabilities Ooh deep <coughs> my throat chakra just <coughs> for some of you this is really hard for them to say so again unsaid that's why I'm filled with guilt and regret over what went down between us when we were together so really really missing what happened I had to tell you multiple lies because I was hiding a lifestyle I felt you wouldn't accept so they were up to something, whether, you know, again, this is you or them or however the masculine energy applies, hiding something from you, not letting you see this. 
I've been focusing on my hustle so I can spoil you rotten. Ooh, Libras, I feel like whatever. Okay, again, different energies might not be the same person. This person wants to spoil and just dote on you. I feel like they want to make sure that, oh, see? Oh, look at that. That's also falling on the you bring out the romantic in me. I want to buy your flowers, sweets, and jewelry. And I feel like they want to spoil you rotten with everything and anything that they can buy. Or, you know, I mean, some people express it through gifts and maybe there's other ways they want to spoil you rotten. <laughs> I feel like you got way too emotional sometimes and I can't handle it. So I feel like, you know, divine feminine or the other person that this divine masculine is dealing with, um, you got very emotional and this person clearly can't handle emotions because of everything that they're going through. So, or, or I guess in two, in a way, because they have so much of their own stuff going on that they just couldn't add you. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still nosy and I want to know more. So let's keep going. Let's get some heart to hearts of the divine masculine messages. Let's get some more clarity here for my beautiful Libras. What other messages can you tell us here? Let's get one more, please. <clears throat> Oof. This is major throat chakra clearing, guys. I highly recommend it for whoever needs it. Forgiveness. I'm so sorry. There are so many cards here. <sighs> I see cycle, love, and forgive. So I'll read. Or am I meant to not take the rest? What would you like? What would you like? Okay, keep the flipped up ones. Put away the rest. Silence. I want to reach out to you, but I can't right now. So they're, of course, still situating this situation. Do I want to do all them, Libra? It's your birthday. I'm going to do them all. Let's do it. I'm putting that stack away, but this was the first chunk here. So I feel like this is, there could be two separate groups here. There could be multiple different groups here. We have gratitude. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. This person is grateful for your love, Libra. And again, that's very strong, powerful love that you gave them that really impacted them deeply probably love that they've never experienced justice i want to make things right libra how appropriate they want to make things right with you your beautiful energy coming through here bringing that into it commitment i am completely devoted to you my i guess they want to come back into a more serious and union here we are always together no matter the circumstances okay so you guys could have some higher level energy connection here where you're connected on the 5d very soulmate very strong connection silence again so i want to reach out to you but i can't right now so there's that element of what it is that they're doing again something about their lifestyle that they know you wouldn't approve of what are they doing right cycle i am letting go of what no longer serves me hopefully when you find out it's over <laughs> so ending of this cycles ending of this situation wow <clears throat> love you are my weakness you are my weakness libra your divine masculine finds you extremely attractive they want to spoil you and they have such a strong love for you student i am learning from my mistakes well we're all students here so i feel like this is that mutual energy where this connection could have been causing them to have this and because you're unconditionally loving them um and there's there's conditions in that sense like you can still love someone and not be in their environment right so that's sending it in but we have forgiveness and it says i'm sorry now, i don't know if some of you want that or don't want that but they are sorry libra surrender i am releasing resistance and the surrender card to me feels like the twin flame only because it's on the union so i feel like you're surrendering to this union surrendering to this situation forgiveness justice cycles ending closing new beginnings a lot of stuff happening here but we're going to continue what are we looking into well another new deck <laughs> this is the soul journey here it's a journey of the soul oracle these are so beautiful i'm so excited to share them with you so let's see what i have for my beautiful libras what messages do we have here for my beautiful Libras. Please, please. What cards can we give to offer more clarity here? It's going to give it a good shuffle because I feel like <clears throat> there's a lot. There's a lot happening. I feel like for some of you too, this person is very overwhelmed. I'm feeling a very heavy energy in terms of their vibration heavy you know uh, and again they can't deal with your emotions because they don't know how to deal with theirs so this person could have an emotional disconnect as well too or some blockages <sighs> toxic flipping right up there so we'll just put that over there how many do i have don't want to let me 
going to get a few, maybe two more, please. Let me get two more here. Two more for my beautiful... One more. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Loyalty. Okay, guys. Loyalty. Strong, beautiful energy here. Loyalty. This person's very loyal to you, or you could be very loyal to them again with that unconditional love. Or perhaps your lawyer loyalty and support is something that they have. Um, that they're very grateful for and I feel like that's what's also making them surrender is because they know that they are either the ones that are loyal to you they have a very strong loyalty now it could be a Leo energy with the sunflowers sunflowers could just be significant but uh, a beautiful energy okay so we're just confirming that then we have return so I feel like for some of you part of this is also that surrendering forgiveness they could be knocking right at your door apologizing you know this divine masculine wants to come in here um, and apologize and surrender and just end this cycle and confess what it is that they've been holding. I feel like this commitment that they want to offer, they've learned their lessons, they've learned the situation in your silence. I want to reach out to you, but I can't right now. I feel like whatever the silence is that's between the two of you, it has been deafening. You know what I mean? Silence is louder than a lot of things. So major thing, divine masculine. Look at this right here. I feel like there's a loyalty and then this return of the divine masculine is going to be coming in here because I feel like that again we kind of spilled the beans right so we're gonna see what's coming in um could have been them returning because they've ended that toxic cycle could be a lot of toxic vices um again spending a lot of stuff but this connection could have been extremely toxic for one or both of you um a lot of addictions here too can also speak with the toxic card because of those that card that had spoken to the lifestyle that they have so they might be doing something that you wouldn't have accepted or um, understood and that's not okay. So there's that toxic tendency there. Be the light. Oh my goodness. Everyone's got this card and it's such a beautiful card to me. Lighthouse. Lighthouse could be significant for you. But be the light, Libras. I feel like for this person, you could have been that light that shone in on their darkness or of course, their you theirs. Um, however it applies and I feel like they could be really needing that help because they've only known toxic ways of dealing with this or this person could be extremely toxic as well because they haven't grown you know ending the cycles letting go of what no longer serves them releasing those habits or inhibitions or things that they've been masking their true feelings for and I feel like maybe the situation during the separation they turn to a lot of toxic things and realistically even in the darkness all they think about is you um the lighthouse if you know for people who don't know and they don't live by the water they use lighthouses to send out lights so anyone that's lost at sea at night can find the shore this little beacon of light here is that 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 hope you know when someone's lost in the darkness and you're just like where is the land and you see the lighthouse and you know where to go so i feel like for some people this is you you could also be that beacon of light in your community in your environment where you are the one shining light and helping others around you and just truly impacting everyone in your environment and that's beautiful so keep being the lighthouses my darlings i appreciate you so much for all that you do Ooh, but i feel like on top of that you not just spark the light but you also spark something else a little bit of seduction here too um very sexual energy here too could be some toxic stuff with the seduction maybe this person would use sex to distract um from situations or of course they could have a toxic sex addiction maybe um divine masculine here could be easily seduced or seducer um meaning different things but also just relating to the strong connection really wanting to have a seduction of course divine feminine here could be wanting to seduce the divine masculine um trying to bring that energy back towards however it applies um also really trying to bring in and surrendering and i feel like part of the seduction too is that there's that draw that magnetic pull towards this divine feminine or of course however the energy is it's just depicted as a female but that doesn't mean it is but it's just really wanting to you know like sexy lingerie really good night really fun time on this like fur carpet here too it's like or blanket maybe oh but someone is really thirsty i feel like this person could have a thirst for this energy that they can't satiate there could be an extra energy here too or for some of us too this to me means a few different things this person again if they're a very toxic person then they could be like an energy vampire um so they're just thirsty for you and you could be something that they can't 
get enough of, but it's also draining and toxic. I feel like with this toxic energy though, it's it's not a good thing. Like it's it's very difficult. They could have a lot of lot of high drive or desire or something, or maybe you do, and then let it go. So for some of you, it is an amount of forgiveness here that is happening, the situation and being able to let this go, let go of this person who is draining you, let go of any energy vampires in your environment. Um, really just lifting off. I feel like cutting those ropes and just taking off, letting yourself go to where you're meant to go, okay? Let's get into your reading. We're gonna use the Crystal Vision Tarot. Let's see what cards we have for my beautiful Libras. What messages can we give my beautiful Libras at this time to offer some clarity in this connection, please? What else can come through? Something else wants to be said, but I can't hear it yet. I feel like also this person, okay, the seduction here is speaking to me. <clears throat> so the seduction of this person is strong enough to pull you or pull them out of what it is that they're stuck in. And I feel like part of this lighthouse energy is sort of like you have sparked something so strong to them that part of the seduction is the loyalty they have to you that they can't help but keep coming back. So that can also talk to a toxic pattern. Maybe someone is using sex to continually keep that loyalty or they're confusing loyalty with that side. But there's some element here that needs to be healed. And again, guys, use your resources, use online systems or whatever it is to help you get the help you need or learn whatever it is that needs to be learned six of swords though moving away into calmer waters moving into that beautiful energy for some of you um six of swords libra this can be you you could be dealing with another libra uh Gemini or an Aquarius. I keep almost saying Virgo every time. Um, the Hierophant is a Taurus energy though. So I feel like for some of you, you're kind of letting go of a lot of old things. And again, this could be those situations that cause that toxic patterns. Now, the theme that has been really coming out has been like the childhood trauma healing. So I feel like for some of you, it's like really letting go of these old ideals and moving towards like a new belief system. I feel like for some of you, not only is this talking about a commitment, but this can talk about your faith. Like those old things that used to hold on to your paradigm, your beliefs, your thoughts, your you know experiences. You've been holding on to so many things, but you could be seeking advice from someone who's able to guide you. Again, spirit guide or someone who is very strong in their firm morals and beliefs. So this is also helping you come out of this, move towards the light, move towards this help, okay? Move towards whatever the situation is. The person with wisdom could be dealing with a Taurus. Again, a lot of air energy too. She could just be dealing with someone who wants who has a very solid foundation, knowledge base, really turning to your faith. Maybe this person has detached from any faith or belief system. So it's like turning to God, turning to your angels, whatever it can mean to you. Let's see what else is coming through for my beautiful v Libras. Next one, King of Wands. So there's a very strong passion. And I feel like, especially with the seduction card and the King of Wands, there's a strong desire here. But this King of Wands though, sometimes like, I feel like it's about taming the beast. You see how even the beast is smiling. So it's kind of like, there's this element of knowing what to do, how they like. I feel like they're very, very strongly attracted to you. And I feel like that's part of the turn on. But there's also this element with this King that he gets bored easy. So I feel like that's part of it as well, is that the divine masculine might just be like needing new and it's it's just like it's never enough it's never good enough and they never commit to anything so it's about breaking that cycle and I feel like the return is that they realize that maybe that was their pattern but they want it with you Libra they want to have that connection so they could be coming back towards you could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries this like lion is such a cheeky bugger here I feel like he's also really like I feel like this guy you know the king is also kind of like, even the lion knows what the king's going to do to you. So I feel like for some of you, there's going to be a lot of beautiful um, situations. Can also talk to, uh, we do have the th five of cups here. A period of sadness and disappointment. Again, they hurt you, you know? So there's this element of, I need to be forgiven. Forgiveness coming through as well too. Loss, sadness, um, disappointment, especially like all sorts of things. You could be upset about a lot of things. Now it did say that you were emotional, right? So they can't deal with your emotions. So maybe seeing you emotional messes them up and that can kind of bring back old triggers of like disappointing their loved ones from their past or something. And I feel like the three of cups down here spilled the two cups behind new moon. Very interesting energy though, because we have the new moon followed by the three of cups with the full moon on the card. So for some of you, you could be really lonely and sad. So don't stay alone. Surround yourself with friends. Get some beautiful 
beautiful energy. For others of you too, this is kind of like a quick thing. I feel like once you go through this sadness and this period of separation, um, again, someone could have moved away. Someone could have been like, you know, doing their own thing and left the other person sad. So during the separation, there's been a really, really major transformation. There could be two people. Someone could have left you for someone else. However it is, the Three of Cups also speaks about reunions and celebrations. So coming together it could be, of course, like I said, if you're feeling sad and you're going through a really difficult time, please reach out to people. And if you don't have other friends, then join us and comment below so we can love on you and spend, spend some time together. Again, the community section has daily posts up here all the time on my channel. So make sure you subscribe and check those out so you get those daily as and you know and affirmations or inspirations whatever you need moon card so this moon is very significant okay we did have like i said three super moons this is the middle one right now this moon goddess is also protecting a lot of things there could be some secrets that haven't been revealed yet again a lot of cups here so cancer scorpio or pisces this is also again the uh, cancer card here with the moon um some things will be revealed and i feel like <sighs> this person has been going through a major transition. This, this cycle had to happen in this connection or between the two of you in order to release any of these toxic behaviors. But of course that is also, oh wow, the moon followed by the sun. Okay, okay, give me a second here. Uh, the moon card here, who else got this? I think Virgo got the two as well. But we have the moon, okay, the moon goddess. I'm gonna get one more so I can focus here. Can I get one more, please, Crystal Vision Tarot? Thank you. <sighs> okay, tell me, you guys are definitely dealing with your twin flame. Temperance at the bottom here, healing, divine guidance, divine timing. These are the angels here. So a major transformation was necessary. <sighs> get the lovers flying out at the end. Of course you do, Libra. Of course you do. So we have the moon card um, really revealing a lot of secrets and hidden stuff. So this moon goddess here, she's doing a lot of inner work, major stuff here, major... Hold on, this is like a major portal card too, because right now we're in the super moon, so you're unlocking a lot of parts of yourself, revealing a lot of your deepest hidden secrets. Now, of course, this person too can be confessing that because we did have communication, we did have surrender, we did have all that energy come through. So the moon card here too, and this one signifies with the wolves as well. She's also, you know, the wolves howl at the moon, but they respect the goddess. So I feel like there's this very strong energy of protection here. Also uh, very divinely protected with the two protectors um this is also very significant with the moon lilies so they only bloom at night so i feel like for some of you you've done such ma like you've mastered yourself in the darkness like i feel like that's also such a beautiful quality is that you've mastered your darkness i feel like overcoming a lot of that stuff in an area where you were now able to bloom where you weren't able to before and i feel like that's part of the strength that you've gained and that's also helping you let go as you've just kind of surrendered truly surrendered and look more sunflowers for you so like i said the loyalty here the sun card this is beautiful energy too because the moon you know being the feminine energy divine feminine energy sun being the divine masculine energy um again with the loyalty here too with that beautiful like you know that sun i guess this person could be really loyal to you wanting to have children this is of course the children card too so some of you again she's holding a baby and it's a baby horse in the background too so major you know cycle could be starting new cycles when you're pregnancy for others of you too it's about having a child or wanting to have children with this person this person wants you to be the mother of their children also yes if you had a question the answer is yes whatever is that you're waiting and seeking right now there's a major yes coming through and i feel like whatever wasn't shown to you before will be illuminated with the sun like i said the moon only shows up so much and i feel like now you will truly reveal this they will they, so they're going to communicate the silence they're not ready to talk to you at this moment but when they do i feel like once they've learned their lessons and they understand what it was and they understand how their actions were toxic as well or your actions were toxic however it applies that communication <clears throat> will be expressed and I feel like that's when this union comes together now again lovers can mean twin flame can mean Gemini you could be dealing with a Gemini here Leo as well too like as a cancer card here as well but this card is so special because those doves are bringing together this divine union with this beautiful partner could be a twin flame because this is also like past lives you could have known each other for a really long time before and through these rose bushes it's kind of significant to the fact that the roses are so beautiful but in this bush there's also thorns so it's a very difficult kind of acceptance of going through what you had to go through in order to get to this beautiful 
you know, rose bush, right? <laughs> like uh, also the red ties. So the red strings are extremely uh, traditional depending on your cultures. Uh, if you don't know, this is also that theory that like these little red strings tie people together that are meant to be together for life. So it's sort of like your doves are guiding each of you to one another and connecting your strings. So therefore you're finally now meeting this person. You could have also made some, you know, you have a soul contract to be together. You have this beautiful union coming in. Such a beautiful card, major transformation, very strong love a very beautiful union between the two of you and I feel like for both of you this was both the awakening not just only the breaking but also the awakening to this connection and I feel like this is such a positive love coming through for you I'm so excited my beautiful Libras let me know how this resonated of course if you liked it then like it give me some love back I appreciate all the support now and always let me know where you're watching from um this is going to be a major transformation but very necessary for everyone so of course please check out all the other videos folks Focus on the titles if they resonate to your current situation. Maybe they can offer some more clarity. I'd love to hear how these are helping. And of course, please take one of those links to feed the kids. And please stay safe. Learn all these lessons. Apply them. God bless. Love and light. And we'll see you soon. Bye.